the first ingredient to make pilaf rice is butter. I use two and half tablespoon of butter, one and half onion chop, two cup of long grain white rice, two cups of chicken stock, one teaspoon of saffron. Firstly, melt the butter in the glass pot using medium heat. When the butter fully melt, add one and a half onion chop into the pot and mix it well. Stir the onion about three to four minutes. After it's done, pour the onion into the rice and mix it well. Next, add 2 cup of chicken stock into the rice and actually I use chicken stock powder and I do not need to add any seasoning. For the final touch, add the saffron into the pot and stir the ingredients well. The first ingredient to make grilled chicken is 2 chicken breast. Next, I use 6 crush of garlic. Next, 1 tablespoon of black pepper and 1 tablespoon of salt. Firstly, add the garlic on top of the chicken breast. Next, add black pepper and salt and rub the ingredient well and let the chicken marinate about 30 minutes. Next, add the butter in the grill pan using medium heat. After the butter fully melt, add the chicken breast in the grill pan using high heat. Cook the each side of the chicken breast about 3 to 4 minutes and flip it over and repeat doing the same process until the chicken is fully cooked. Next, using the spatula, press the chicken breast for cook and for the grill mark. Next, keep doing the same process until the chicken is fully cooked. The first ingredient for mushroom sauce is 2 and a half tablespoon of butter. Next, 1 and a half onion chop. Shiitake mushroom. 1 and a half cup of chicken stock. Cooking cream. Cheese slices. Next, add the butter into the glass pot using medium heat. After the butter fully melt, add one and a half of onion chopped into the butter. Next, stir the onion until it turns to transparent look. After it done, add the mushroom into the pot and mix the ingredient well. After the mushroom turns softer, add the chicken stock into the pot and mix it together. Next, 
Add about 2 tablespoons of cooking cream into the pot and stir all the ingredients well. Next, after the sauce becomes thick, add 2 cheese slices into the sauce. Now, cook the sauce about 3 to 5 minutes and it is ready to be served.